Wisconsin's top election official says there's no evidence of fraud or wrongdoing in the state's election. Now county clerks are rushing to figure out how much it would cost to run a recount, which the Trump campaign has pledged to request. Jason Calvi tells us the pandemic is creating a new set of challenges. Brett, think about all of the space they're going to need to count those ballots in the midst of this pandemic. You've got the poll workers counting those ballots. You've got the observers and the media. So here in Waukesha County, the clerk has reserved the Expo Center in case the Trump campaign does indeed ask for that recount. Readying for a recount. Four years ago, we had the space to do that here, but with COVID and knowing that spacing requirements that we, we can't do it here. Counting the costs of counting the ballots, space, poll workers, security, masks, plexiglass, and other protections. Before a recount, this. Wisconsin's county clerks finished canvassing the process of making the unofficial results official, double checking tabulator tapes and poll books, making sure everything adds up. That's what canvas is for. That's when you want to find these errors so that you can correct them. Statewide, it's led to 43 more votes for Joe Biden and 39 extra for Donald Trump, partly due to fixing mistakes and counting provisional ballots. One of those errors was Shawno, where Trump was accidentally shown with 274 extra votes. It is very clear on the tally sheet that they, you know, used on election night. Somehow when it was when whoever um, in the city office put in the votes, I don't know, like I said, if they were looking at something else, possibly picked it up, but human error. So far, 75% of Wisconsin counties have turned into the state their certified results. The others have a Tuesday deadline. Then the Trump campaign will have until 5 p.m. the next day to request a recount and pay the estimated cost. We trust the election results, and I think if you go back to the 2016 recount of the presidential race, you can see that our results did match. There was some minor changes. Now, those 2016 recount results led to an extra of 131 votes for President Donald Trump winning this crucial battleground state. It did cost the Green Party, who asked for that recount back then, it cost them $2 million. Reporting live in Waukesha, Jason Calvey, Fox 6 News. It's a big price tag. Okay, thanks, Jason.